here. My name is Kelsey. Today I am doing something kind of different, but honestly not really that different. I know you guys love room and home videos from me, but I don't know why I've never thought to actually like teach and show you guys how I style stuff. I only just ever show you like with room tours and just show you hauls of what I buy for my room, but I never actually show you guys how I style. And now I'm going to do today how I style my fireplace or a mantle, which is kind of the star of my room. But yeah, so I'm going to show you different techniques that I use, how to make it look pleasing to the eye, tips that I follow when styling. And these are kind of general rules also that could work on styling the top of your dresser or an entry table or something like that. And so this is how I have it styled right now. I'm actually going to empty this out and show you a couple different ways that I would decorate it. So I'm going to put a list on the screen of all the stuff I typically get out when I'm restyling. A lot of times I'll use, number one is books. Books are a great thing to decorate with. A lot of pottery and vases, those are also great because they're very easy to thrift and also DIY if you have ugly ones and like make them cuter. You can use a lot of photos, artwork, and picture frames. That is great and it's something everybody has. Um, I like using a lot of sculptural things that are more like decorative. Um, these can be pickier with and harder to find, but I do like using them when I find something I really like. Of course, flowers, every now and then I'll treat myself to real ones, but fake ones work all the better to be completely honest. Anything like trays, marble trays, glass trays, or little dishes, I use a lot of those. Even these, a lot of them are actually cigarette, like little ashtrays. I get them at the Goodwill for like 99 cents and I get these clear glass ones or if they have really pretty white decorative ones, any of those, like I love them. They're so cute to just put your rings in or a candle in. Candles, candles are amazing. I have literally three candles alone right now on this. The one first tip that I'm gonna show you, like I have the mirror in the center, is have a centerpiece that everything sort of blends around. You sort of have to have like a vision of where you're going. So know what kind of style you like for your room, pick pieces that sort of match with that color scheme. Having a color scheme is very important. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but I'd say keep it around four colors and you can use like the same color but different tones. So obviously I like white, but there's a lot of different shades of like off-whites and creamy colors. Same thing for nudes and beiges. There's a million different beiges out there. So pick like three or four general colors you like and then just get a bunch of pieces with those colors. Now I wanna keep this piece standing out. So I'm not gonna pick anything that looks exactly like my centerpiece. So basically I'm not gonna put any more mirrors up here and I'm also not gonna put anything big and gold. If it's a small gold detail, that's fine. But because this is like really gold, I don't want any super big gold pieces up there as well. So creating height, that's the next thing we wanna do. Because the piece we have is our centerpiece, usually your centerpiece is very big, already has height. We wanna create other height, not competing with it. We don't want anything as tall as our centerpiece but we definitely do want to create some shapes here so like layers like something more medium size here and then bring in the front something smaller like I had before I had that big vase here and then I had smaller like candles so that's typically it's really pleasing to the eye to look at like that sort of slope scape of things on each side like going from tallest to shortest and then having the big piece in the middle so I'm gonna start off with some books here and I'm gonna use some different books than I was using before now the reason I think that this looks good is because we have this piece of black that ties in with the black lettering. Now you wouldn't really think of that as a big detail like the lettering on the side of the books but it really is all in the little details where it all ties together. Because as you can see if I don't have the candle it looks a little bit too empty. Like it's just all white and there's nothing really going on. If you have a very minimal vibe then that would be fine for you. I think this ties in well because it has the same colors as what I'm pairing it with but it adds depth. It has like a little pop there. You know your eye kind of goes to the candle. Now as you can see with the sort of height staggering thing, the candle and the bowl are at the same height and I don't really like that. I want to make the bowl a little bit higher and then the candle shorter. So I'm either going to put either a tray under there or get some smaller books and just make the dish a little taller. Okay, so I like that better. I had a marble tray but it wasn't really doing too much. I took, I stole some two smaller books from down there. I put them up here and I do like that. So now I'm going to work on this side kind of doing the same thing but I'm going to use different pieces. Um, I don't want to use all the same pieces, like I don't want to have books, 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 that's going to look too much, so I want to play with like different pieces. Okay, so just for the sake of this video, I just bought this brand new picture frame that I like. As you can see, it's matted, it's all white, it's got this really thin gold strip, so like I said, thin gold to tie in, it's not too much going on, but just a little bit to tie the two pieces together, but I don't have a photo in it yet, this is like the photo that you buy and it comes like in the frame, but it honestly is kind of cute, it's the streets of Paris, so <laughs> just for the video, you know, like I would actually change this, because you know it has like all the like details down there, but for now, we're gonna keep the example photo in there because it works. So 
here's where we go with the depth of layering. We've got something, see I think that looks very good so far. So we've got something that's the same sort of shape as our centerpiece, but the size of it is very small on scale and we're gonna move it forward a little bit more to play with that depth. What I'm gonna do now here, I think that it's very obvious, you can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put something tall here, not too tall, but taller than the picture frame. good now let me show you something I did here so you know how I was talking about the diagonals going this way like highest to smallest but as you can see I put this here on the outside and it is smaller so what I did to make that look okay is I pulled it forward more so usually the taller things go in the back and then the smaller things go in the front um, and so now we've sort of created this triangle which is also very visually pleasing um, and it's sort of like a contrast to what's going on over here where we do have this really nice angle so again with styling you don't always 100% have to follow the rules you can play around with different things and if it looks good to you then great it looks good as you can see the center I've left open now there's two actual reasons I do that one it's more inviting if there was a whole bunch of stuff in front of here you wouldn't really want to approach the mantle to use the mirror or to look at it because then there would just be too much stuff bombarding you know when you walk into a room like you don't want a piece of furniture right there you want to sort of open the entryway so it's inviting to come in same way with your furniture you want it to be inviting number two i have a lot of seating area surrounding the fireplace and i don't have any side tables i mean at least as of yet so this i do actually use to set stuff on you know if i have my cup of coffee or if i'm writing it a book and i set it down here you want it to be able to be accessible as well so i'm going to leave the center open and like i said it's sort of visually pleasing with that downward area i don't want anything obstructing right in the middle where my star piece is that i want people's eyes to focus on because it's nice. So now it's really naked in here. I've taken everything down, including the mirror. I did almost break an ankle, but we are okay. So now I'm gonna do something completely different than what I did before, where I had the centerpiece in the center. I'm going to off-center it, and we're gonna do the biggest piece at a corner, and I'm gonna show you how to style it that way. And so for my large piece, my mom got these really amazing flowers. And I just want to have them spread out and disperse. And we have them at the corner here. The reason I placed them on this side is, as you can see with the furniture I've got going on, see the same rules apply everywhere. We have this taller piece here, so I didn't want this competing and then right next to each other and everything on this side of the wall is super high and then we just have this little tiny couch over here. It wouldn't have looked good. So to give some height to this couch area that's lacking, we have this big empty open wall, we're gonna put this tall plant on this side of the room. basically what we've got going on I decided to stack some books here and put the sculpture on top I really like this it added really nice interest but it still keeps this as the centerpiece um, it just sort of complements it like I said it's not really trying too hard to compete I kept the colors really minimal now since this has this dark brown base and nothing else up here was dark brown I decided to go with the dark brown candle instead of the white candle I had two different white candles up here and they weren't really looking well um, so then I decided like I said tying in similar colors and that matches a lot better. Now just having the candle over here looked really sad. It was too small. I never add a small piece, like when I'm working with big, medium, small, if I have something small, never leave it by itself. It needs a complementary piece. So, but I thought there was too much going on already. So basically I went with a minimal piece to add height and texture, but I didn't want like too much going on. So that's why I went for just the white vase. So as you can see, it's there like it's it's barely there so yeah I like this one we're gonna do another one where we're gonna use our piece as the center in case you don't have a big mirror like that or in case you don't have these ginormous flowers <laughs> um, just to show you guys some options and we're gonna do layered centerpieces so we're gonna have more than one eye-catching centerpiece so let me take a picture of this and we'll clear Again, the fire 
fireplace is cleared. Like I said, we are going to work with two centerpieces this time. So I have two big pieces of art. Let me grab them. So these are my two pieces of art. Let me talk about them for a second. I have two photos here. As you can see, they're very minimal. Just because of my style, I don't want too much going on. So I, I'm gonna use more minimal photos. That way, even though there's technically a lot of things, like there's two huge photos on my mantle, because they're minimal pictures, it doesn't look overbearing. Okay, hi, I'm gonna take this piece put it in the center. If your photos are the same size, I think mine are the same size, um, then I guess it doesn't really matter which piece goes in the front or the back. You can choose which one you like best to go in the front. But if you have one that's taller than the other, the taller one, like I said, same thing with the pieces, the taller things go in the back. That one's like an inch taller, so it's gonna go in the back like that. Okay, so I might end up keeping this as how I have my fireplace because I really like this. You can use more photos than this if you want. My store photo. That is cute! Okay, wait, we're keeping that. That was a fluke. I didn't even think I was going to do that. I was just showing you an example. You can use more than two photos. I really like when they have different frames. So these two have almost the same. They're just both white basic frames. Um, I think it looks a lot more interesting when you have like a white frame, a black one, a gold one, and they're all different sizes, different shapes. When they're really random, I think layering them like this looks way better. But if you like this cohesive look, that's great. I think this looks great too. I decided to bring my bedside lamp up here because I was like something just it's not looking right like with the candles I knew I needed something dark colored I was like that's correct but the candles were too short so I was like okay so if it's not the color then it must be the height we've got the vase with the one flower I like that a lot better I thought it would look more minimal again we're not trying to steal away from our like photo gallery here so I just went with the one single flower in the vase instead of like a big bouquet because that is very eye-catching I mean I honestly kind of like this better than the first way I had it this way looks really pretty We've done the layering really well, biggest in the back, smallest in the front, same thing here, biggest pieces on the outside, smaller pieces on the inside. We've kept the front space empty to use. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video on how to style your mantle. I hope this helped you. I hope some of my like rambling of tips made sense to you. I hope this gives you some room inspiration to style your mantle or maybe it's your dresser or whatever it may be. So if you want more videos like this, let me know because this is my first of actual like home videos besides a room tour. So let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this mixed in with my fashion but other than that make sure to subscribe to my channel for more fashion videos possibly more room videos and a lot of lifestyle vlogs and also if you want to see more about my room check out my instagram because i post tons of pictures on my stories of my room and photos on my feet of my room and updates of what i changed so go follow me on my instagram yeah so that is it i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.